Hello everyone, this is KJ. Welcome back to Subsistence. Uh, today we are going to look for some lock crates, but uh, also we're going to do a little bit of work on the south base. Oh, that's a rock. It's a cheater rock too, because it looks like a bag. You know what I... My, I'm stuck. What the heck I got back here? There we go. <laughs> you know what I never do? I never look up at this roof at all. And I have this convenient hatch for getting on this roof. And I never think to look and see if there's any bags up here. I'm not so desperate for loot. Like, I, I need the loots because, you know, let's face it, I need the loots. But <laughs> beyond that, probably need more wind turbines too. Alrighty, I put a box over here for go stuff, which I have on me. This is for the central center pond uh, uh, base. Center pond. I can't. I have problems with doors today, and uh, I made some planks, but I am severely out of wood which I have not been chopping. Uh, also, I powered up the base. We are at uh, 800 mass, We're coming up on 6,000 power. We'll have that before we get back. Uh, we don't have any of that stuff. I did make those uh, fire starters. And let's see, and I have all this stuff for building and four lock picks. I don't know if we're gonna loot, uh, use four lock picks, but I have them. Okay, I can't. I can't eat anymore. I've I've stuffed myself uh, to the hilt. <laughs> Let's get going. Uh, thought I would check. Forty-eight nine mil bullets. That's forty-eight more than I'm going to use today. Also, I made some more grenade-tipped arrows uh, in honor of uh, Cold Games' uh, fun little thing that he did with the pilots. He's made them even better at shooting LARs. So if we get a crashed airplane, we'll go home and pick up some grenade-tipped arrows and surprise them back. <laughs> They're already overpowered <laughs> by comparison. I mean, you know, I, I expect um, gold uh, and platinum uh, from them if they're going to do that much damage. Let's see here. I haven't even looked for the ores, which are probably all over the place. Oh, I thought I saw a sneaky chicken. We have to look through this stuff to see if there's a uh, lock crate hidden in there. So we'll make the loop here and around the valley see if we can find some lock crates. I'm hopeful. <laughs> I stopped looking for them, you know, on purpose. But I have these lock picks burning a hole in my uh, pocket. Oh, I don't, I don't need that. <laughs> when you uh, start a game, you uh, get yourself tuned into looking for rabbits and chickens. And I think on either the last episode or recently, I killed a rabbit or a chicken or something with, a, with the bow. Because I had been playing... <laughs> I had been playing a newer save. Really? And, uh, uh, so my mind was locked into it. And, uh, there's a couple of, uh, episodes coming out. I hope it doesn't continue. But the game is really, really laggy. And I think you can see it right now. I know I can. I'm not sure why that's happening. It's not OBS or YouTube. YouTube is what makes everything look um, blurry. That's the compression. Oh, that's a wolf. Um, you know what? Th 
this uh, behavior is really intense. Uh, okay. You come over here. The wolf can stay. I think I can get through there. Oh, yeah, I think I can get through there now. Little brunch there. I don't need this. Every time I pick up a box in this save, that's that's what goes through my mind. I seriously do not need this. Okay, well, I didn't find either one of those lock crates. Let's see if we can find one over here. <laughs> and of course every time I pass by a grub tree I think oh my god I need wood so bad I don't need a grub <laughs> I have something like 250 of them uh, I see a rabbit I see a bear I don't see a lock crate though. Wait, wait. No, that that's a fern. That's a fern, Vern. There's a wolf over there. Huh. I don't really want to travel too much with all this building stuff on me, but I'd have thought I'd have found one by now. That one I stumbled on at the end of that video the other day, though, that was hilarious. I guess I'll look for a law crate. Never mind. <laughs> there it is. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't see it. Let's look over here. Uh, we might. We might go up. Uh, uh, and there's a bear. After we put down all these uh, building things. We might go up uh, in between Dry Mountain and the, and the hills. That's pretty good. That bear is super close. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I want it. So, there. <laughs> Alright, let's go wash our hands and put some stuff away and put up some walls. And uh, put the flower beds down. Or the plant beds, rather. Flower beds. Plant beds. Whatever. I brought tomato seeds, so I guess we're growing tomatoes out here. I probably will put in the water system and everything out here. Just because why not? But we're going to have to have a whole lot more than uh, four solar panels to run that thing. I wasn't even sure uh, how many walls to make. I just made a bunch of walls and a doorway and uh yeah i didn't even i didn't even think about it we'll make more i have more building material in here but i need to get rid of some stuff here all right let's see here um i need a foundation so what can i i can drop those off we have tons of seed here um i don't think that goes in there Oh, I forgot to make the berry water. <laughs> I think all the building stuff goes over here. So we'll do that. And that also goes here. And that also goes here. And so let's make... Um, we'll make two foundations. And uh, I can put them on this side over here. I don't like it when the weeds are coming through like that. In fact, I planned on lifting this entire building up. Uh, oops. Um, yeah, 
I think we'll go one more that way. And then we'll put down the plant beds out here. Because we're still well within the bubble here. Oops. For goodness sake. Okay, those are pretty well apart. Uh, yeah, tomatoes. I like having tomatoes. Okay, now we need water. Do I own... Oh, there's one. Two. There we go. I was about to say, do I own any canteens? I could stand right here. Uh, that's full. <laughs> it's not necessary to open and close your inventory like that to do that. <laughs> I just spaced it. Alright, we'll drop those in there. I don't need to cook a fire. Well, maybe. I have the steak, but that's just going to take time. Uh, all right, now then, where did these, uh, they're over there. Uh, I think I would like to try and reach that. Because if I keep jumping up there and, and tossing them down, it's going to be a big mess. Not quite. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let's do that one first. And we'll do that one. They're not they're not perfect, but I'll have to have something better, you know. I have to do better than that. Alright. Let's see. Here it is. Okay. Solar panels. Point thirty six coming in. We are maxed out. So I might have to get some power storage out here. And we do have this. Uh, so we'll... We'll work on that. Oh, I picked up some plate, too. Let's see if I can remember that. And some fat that can go there. And how much rot do I have? 19. That liver will make it 20, which would be uh, 5 heat packs worth. Or uh, 10... Uh, insect repellents or whatever comes up. That's full. I'll put that there. Oh, I've got biofuel in two different places. Okay. I hate that when that happens. Alright, let's go work a little bit on the house. Still running around like there's something chasing me all the time. <laughs> oh, that's right. We need a stair on this side. Let's go build that, too. Definitely need to be able to access the house from this side. Uh, there we go. How much wood is out here? 22. Not much. Oh, that looks so strange. All right, I did in fact, and am currently uploading season two, episode one of subsistence. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. It's a crazy thing to do. Home delivery, thanks. I'll take it. Oh, there was cotton seed in there. <laughs> All right. Uh, 
That's quite a jump. Alright, no problem. I definitely do not have enough walls here. Uh, let's put in these four. And I think I'll do these the same. Is that a cut? That doesn't look wide enough to be a full wall there. Okay, and uh, front door. That is most definitely the back door. So we'll do front door. And we might, might maybe have an issue with that. Let's see. Very little, very little issue at all. So we got that part. So we need three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more walls of some description. I think I can see well enough in that direction. This might do solid window solid. So two solid walls. I don't see myself ever fighting from this position because I don't see myself uh, ever fighting from inside of a building. I'm just not good at it. And, uh, and I really don't like doing it. Okay, so we have a solid window solid, All right? Wait a minute, solid solid, window solid. So three solid walls and a window. And we'll make this a window, I think, and put the chickens right there so we can access them through the window. All right, so Three solid walls and two windows. I'll just I'm just gonna grab the stuff and bring it. Look how crooked they are. <laughs> uh, and we'll grab oh, we have very little cordage. We don't have enough cordage to even do much of anything. But the price of cordage has gone down, so we can do that. I have like 80 cordage at the house on the South Lake. God, look at how close that bear is to the house now. He's going to do some damage. <laughs> really? Okay. Uh, that's going to be another solid wall. Look at how much of a shadow that top uh, uh, bar is creating. Middle of the day like that. I have no idea how I'm going to make this roof work because the roof is only one, uh, oh, it can be two, uh, two spaces wide or one space wide. So I don't, maybe I can uh, somehow make it peak in the middle, like up and then a peak and then a down. Dude, you are a serious problem right now. What was that? Oh, cordage. I don't want damage. <laughs> oh, uh, axe. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that, was, that was rude, but sorry. 
Oh, it's so nice to see planters out here finally after more than a year. I, way more than a year that this little fishing hut has been here. And many, many cold blizzard nights that I've spent in there. I think I do want to bring a porch out a little ways right here. Like, what do you guys think? Like, a, should we do a, um, like a, a diamond porch with the, um, uh, triangles or with the, uh, curved? We could do two curved foundations and then a straight one. And then we have railings for that, right? We do have curved railings. I think that would look nice. Yeah, I think so. All right, now then, we have an exit there. I think we need a solid wall right there. Um, oh, that's going to be kind of weird, but a corner window situation for the kitchen. Two solid walls. Am I hungry? Really? All right. So, two solid walls together for the entrance. And I I don't know if that's enough room for a BCU, but it, it might be too close. But uh, what I was thinking, actually, was to put in um, uh, extenders. And I completely forgot to make them. And then down here we were going to do a window, a window to complete that look, and then a solid wall in the middle. Uh, what have I got left? Oh, I'm out of cordage for that, so uh, two windows and a solid wall. Yeah, and that'll get the walls done, except for the doorway, which I don't have the cordage for. Uh, my game's super laggy again. Sorry about that. I don't know what's causing it. And I hope it's not something in my settings. It's like the smallest crops of, uh, of uh, fiber that you can get. Because I need fiber. <laughs> Wolf look injured, or is it just the way that the light is shining on him? I think it's just the lighting. There's some. There we go. I was really hoping to find four lock crates today, but... Uh, then I saw Ross's uh, comment, and about him wanting to build at Center Pond. It's a great place to, to build. If you're uh, on an especially advanced save. Are you trying to tell me you want to be lunch? Okay. Oh, it would help if I hit him. And not break my, oh, hello. <laughs> I don't think that I can butcher him with a window. <laughs> We're going to at least go around that corner over there and see if we can find that lock crate. Alright, so we're going to put a window right there. Is that right? Oops. A window there. And a, two windows on the corners. Alright. I think I got this in my head now. And then the solid wall right there. And then we need a doorway. There we go. And then we're out of cordage again. And I've only got nine. And I need to wash my hands.
actually got quite a bit done. Like getting the whole house enclosed is pretty cool. And now we just need to make 10,000 range extenders and the house will be powered. <laughs> <laughs> all right okay so all we need is a door for that doorway and then we need to work out how to do the roof it's going to be super complicated so I can do um, a section of roof to here And then I'm going to have a weird thing, a weird issue here. Changing directions. Unless I don't change directions. I can make this part in the kitchen flat roof. And then we'll do the peaked roof here all the way down. To like right here. And then that will be flat. So part of this is going to be strangely peaked right here. I wonder if I can even do that. I hope I can. I might have to build like a wall on top of the wall uh, to put that peaked roof up there. And probably some stairs to get to it, I'm thinking. So it's one, two, three, four, five five long for the peak so that'll be ten minus one no ten um, slanted ones and five peaks that's that's fifteen roofs <laughs> oh my goodness uh, at least it doesn't take cordage I can do a couple of them how much do I have? I can do three of them so that'll get that little bit of it. And then, because uh, I didn't realize it didn't take cordage. Or maybe I did realize it. I don't know. Uh, I'm really hungry. <laughs> Alright, so let's turn that one. You know, I'd like to, like, let's cut that off and make a peek and see if I can just place a peak up there. I have done this before. Uh, my first save has peaked roofs. And I had to, I had to move them like 50 times. <laughs> Alright, so go that way. Will that go up there? Ah, oh, look at that! Oh, that's fantastic. All right, I don't have to do anything crazy. I wish I could get up somewhere and see that, but I don't have enough wood to make a stair. All right, it's like super late. Oh, that's gonna be nice. You can't see it because of the light. Was that a moose maybe? I hope. Oh, you can't see it because of the light. That's going to be super cool looking. Kind of looks a little bit like a barn, though, to be honest with you. <laughs> barn stormers. I have tons of that stuff. <laughs> Thousands. <laughs> oh, I don't need a bear right now. I haven't eaten a proper meal. I have good food at home, though. I know, I, you can't see much. <laughs> I always do this thing where it's like I get distracted by things and I don't eat food and uh, I'm super hungry and uh, you know, it's late at night and it's time to go home. <laughs> I've been doing it since I was a little kid, to be honest with you. It doesn't really have anything to do with the game. Alright, when we come back next time, 
I'm going to have some more uh, wood because I'm going to spend a day chopping wood, I think. And, uh, oh, for God's sake, where are you? Is that the one that's growling at me? Yes, it is. Run. He missed. <laughs> I heard his little toes part in the grass. <laughs> <clears throat> so uh the next episode will be uh subsistence season two episode one i encourage you to uh encourage me because <laughs> it's gonna take it's gonna take a lot of encouragement uh to keep me going on a season two <laughs> i think i even say in there it it's like, I just don't want to do this. I'm like, I don't want to do this. Because <laughs> it's, it's not fear. <laughs> it's, I know, like, how much hard work um, it took uh, to get here. We're on, uh, if we just look at it, we're on day 805. <laughs> and season two is on day one and that's two episodes <laughs> well day zero is actually day one so <laughs> so anyway uh yeah we're we're set up and ready to go on season two. Oh god i i, I just don't even want to i don't even want to do it all again <laughs> but uh it's a pretty good start so check it out and uh share it and if you know people who have just started subsistence or if they're uh you know newish to subsistence tell them to watch it because it might help i don't know anyway thank you all so very much for coming along i do hope that you have a lovely evening we'll see you next time bye bye for now <laughs>